Welcome to the Structure Studios online video series. This video will explain Create Presentation. In this stage, we have three ways to present the project to our clients. We can take photos in photo mode, create videos in video mode, or give a real-time tour in presentation mode. First, we'll take photos of our project. Activate photo mode. Our 3D view updates with a black border at the bottom. The drop-down allows us to choose our resolution. Now we'll set our first camera location. We want a view of the pool and outdoor kitchen, so we'll head to the right side pool deck. Hold down the right mouse button to zoom into the area. Then hold down the center mouse wheel to pan over. Now hold down the left mouse button to pivot. Continue to use the mouse until you're happy with the view. Press the new camera location button to save the angle. This is now saved in location slot number one. We can also move around the project in walk mode and fly mode. To enter walk mode, press the footprints on the photo mode toolbar or control plus W. Our feet are planted on the ground to see the design at eye level. Hold down the left mouse button to move forward. Hold down the right button to move backwards. Turn the mouse to look up, down, or side to side. Head to the seating area on the wood deck to get an elevated view of the project. We want to save this location. Press Escape on the keyboard to exit walk mode. Now click the New Camera Location button to save this view. To enter fly mode, press the hot air balloon or Control plus F on your keyboard. Fly mode is great to get a bird's eye view of the project. Move the mouse to look straight down. Now hold down the right mouse button. Our view will rise into the air to see the entire design. Once in place, press Escape to exit fly mode. Now hold down the left mouse button to rotate the view. Then hold down the middle mouse wheel to activate pan and center the project. Now press the plus sign on the keyboard to save this view as a camera location. We now have three great views of the project. In the panel, we have designer overlay options. Add a green check mark to expand the menu. These options will appear on our photos and videos. Add a green check mark to display the company name, your name, the client's name, or your logo. To add your logo, click the file folder to the right of the company logo and upload the logo from your computer. To add the client name, click the home button at the top left corner of the screen then click Project Info. We recommend completing these fields when you start the project. If you haven't added the details yet, you can enter them now. Click each field and type in the details. Once the information is added, click Save. The client's name will appear in the bottom right corner of the screen. We're ready to take our first photo. To select a location, click the thumbnail or press the corresponding number on the keyboard. As we select a location, the 3D viewport updates. Select location number one and click the Take Photo button in the Photo Mode toolbar. This will capture an image of our 3D view. Once the image is captured, the Photo Saved message appears. The photo is saved to the Screenshots folder in the Project folder. We'll review how to access our photos later in the video. Let's add a photo of our project at dusk. In the panel, the sun controls allow you to switch the time of day. Click the icons in the middle of the ring or press the letter N on your keyboard to change between day, dusk, and night. The outer ring allows you to change the sun position. Hold down the left mouse button and move the ring to change the position of the sun. We can also move the sun and moon manually. Press and hold control and use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Control plus the up and down arrow keys will change the time of day. Control plus the left and right arrow keys will rotate the sun around the horizon. We'll use a combination of control plus the arrow keys until the sun is setting behind the hills and the pool and landscape lights turn on. Once you're happy with the lighting, press the plus key or the new camera location button to save the shot. This location and lighting are now saved in location slot number four. 
we can choose between four sunset colors. Click the color dot under the time of day ring to change the color of the sky during dusk. Once we find the best color for our project, we need to update the shot. Click the camera pin on the photo thumbnail. The location will update with the new sky color. Click the Take Photo button or press the letter P on your keyboard to take the photo. VIP 3D members have exclusive access to True Shadows. When on, the sun will rise and set at the real-world time and location of your client's address. In Stage 1, add the address and use the compass to set north to have the sun position accurately. When True Shadows are on, the sun cannot be manually rotated left or right. As you adjust the time, the sky reflects the real-life location of the sun. You can even show a specific time and day. Set the date to July 4th. Press N on your keyboard to move the time to dusk and show your client the view of their yard at sunset on the 4th of July. VIP 3D members also have exclusive presentation features. Customize the clouds, moon, and water under Environment Settings. Click the cloud icon to adjust the clouds. Click the moon icon to customize the moon. Click the water icon to adjust the water surface turbulence. VIP 3D members also have exclusive camera controls to add another level of professionalism to photos and videos. Visit the Help Center for more information on camera controls. Let's take a look at the photos we've taken. Click the Media Viewer button on the top bar. Here we see our photos. We can also access the photos directly from our computer. Click the View Media Location button in the right panel to see where the photos are stored on your computer. To share a photo with your client, click the photo to select it. A gray border highlights the selected photo. Click the email icon on the right. Enter your client's email address and type a message. You can even save your signature. The software will send the email from you and you will also receive a copy in your inbox. Double click a photo to view it full size. The photo looks great. Let's close the picture and press the back button on the left to exit the media viewer. Now we'll record a short video to share with our client. Activate video mode. Just like photo mode, we'll save camera locations at the bottom of the screen. Then string them together with transitions to create a video. We can copy our locations from photo mode or create new ones. We'll create new locations for this video. Now activate fly mode. Head to the fire pit and look at the pool. Once in place, press escape to exit fly mode. Now press the new camera location button to save this view as the starting point of our video. This camera location is added to our storyboard. We want the video to move over the pool and end at the outdoor kitchen. Activate fly mode and fly to the corner of the tanning ledge. Once in place, press escape to exit fly mode. Now press the plus sign on the keyboard to save this view as a camera location. A transition menu is between the two camera locations. Move is selected by default. Move will take the camera from one location to another. The value in the box is how long the move will take. The speed buttons adjust the time. Click the left button for slow, the middle button for normal, or the right button for fast. Or enter a custom time. We'll set our speed to 10 seconds. Now it will take 10 seconds to move from the first camera location to the second. Let's preview our video. Click the Preview Video button to start the preview. We're happy with the video, so click Create Video to record it. Let's head back to the Media Viewer to see our video. Click the Media Viewer button on the top bar. Our video is in the same folder as our photos. We can upload the video to YouTube. Click the video to select it. A gray border highlights the selected video. Click the YouTube icon on the right panel. Log in to YouTube and upload the video. We can also double click to play the video. Let's close the video and press the back button on the left to exit the media viewer. Our final option is presentation mode. Activate presentation. 
our entire screen is an interactive 3D presentation of our project. VIP 3D members can connect the Oculus VR headset to create an interactive virtual reality experience. Press F to enter Fly Mode, or press W to enter Walk Mode. Press N to switch between Night, Day, and Dusk. Press the Space Bar to start an auto tour of the project rotating around your position. This is perfect to keep movement on the screen while filling out the contract. Press the Space Bar again to stop the auto tour. Press the Escape key to open and close the presentation menu. Here we find the keyboard shortcuts for presentation mode. Press X on the keyboard to exit the presentation. This completes instruction on the presentation stage. For more information, please visit structurestudios.com help.